Hi guys, and welcome back to Programming with Pax. In today's video, we're going to talk about tutorial hell. We'll start by talking about what it is, and then we're going to go over a bunch of strategies to help you stay out of this trap. Let's get started. So, what is tutorial hell? Tutorial hell is when you're learning to code and you become a bit too dependent on online courses and YouTube tutorials. When you're watching it and in the moment, you understand everything, but as soon as that tutorial ends, you're left feeling unconfident, lost, and you can't really code anything from scratch. The reason for this is that tutorials don't teach you how to code, they instead give you the steps required in order to build something like a Twitter clone or a landing page. If you're simply following along, then you're missing out on uh, the problem solving aspects of it, especially breaking a really big problem into a whole bunch of smaller problems that are much more tangible. Uh, a great analogy for this is um, watching a YouTube video or tutorial on how to swing a golf club. So you can watch somebody and they can try and they can explain to you how to swing a golf club for hours and hours, but you're never going to actually know how to do it until you pick up that club and you practice yourself over and over. I believe that you should focus on tutorials to learn the fundamentals of a programming language. But after that, if you're wanting to learn to code, then you need to be creating real projects on your own. Now, that doesn't mean that you should get rid of tutorials altogether, but just that you should use them correctly. I, I can think of three different ways of using tutorials correctly. The first is by using it as a reference for your own project. So let's say you're working on a weather app and you have the UI and the API or the data provider where you're getting weather conditions all organized, but you don't know how to actually make uh, how to fetch and make that call to get the data. So what you could do is you go on YouTube, you watch a tutorial on exactly how to do that, you learn it, and then you implement it into your own project. Another way to use tutorials is to code along and build up the project, but then to expand on them. So let's say you're watching a Google Maps tutorial, and when you get to the end of that, you have a little simple skeleton project. Well, now you want to expand on that and make it your own. So learn how to actually put data points of, let's say your top 10 favorite pizza joints in your city. By doing this, not only have you understood the original content much better, but you've made it your own and you'll understand the entire topic overall much deeper and much better. The last way of using tutorials to their full potential is by combining them. So if you are learning a backend technology like Node and you've learned to save, save things into the database, then you could start learning uh, some front end technologies and watch a tutorial on how to actually fetch and display that information. By combining tutorials in this way, you'll have to learn and understand each of the sections much better and much deeper than if you were to just simply watch them passively and you'll have a much deeper understanding overall. Another way of breaking free of tutorial hell is to start learning through other methods, such as documentation or reading other people's code. So with documentation, there are often mini projects available um, in the documentation. So it'll not only teach you the core tools that are available uh, with that technology, but also you'll get to build out an entire project as well, which is a great experience always. Um, when it comes to reading other people's code, it takes it even further because there's absolutely no hand-holding at all and you're gonna have to dig in yourself. You'll have to learn the file structure and how all the different components communicate with each other. Um, and then of course, Google things that you, that you don't understand. This is an excellent way of learning code. Finally, contributing to open source is another awesome way to learn to code in a much more realistic setting, in turn, avoiding tutorial hell. So while going through GitHub, maybe you find a project and there's something that could be written just a little bit better, or you'd like to add some functionality to this project. Worst case, 
your pull request is denied. But even then, you have read through the, the project and understand the code. You've forked the project, written new functionality, and made a pull request. All of these are super important lessons. All right, so in summary, tutorial hell happens when you focus all of your time watching tutorials, but never practice what you learned by coding a project yourself. This leads to you feeling lost and unconfident as a developer. Tutorials show you the steps required to build something. They do not teach you how to code and how to problem solve. There are a few different ways of using tutorials. The first is as a reference. So you learn it from a tutorial, then you implement it in your own project. Another is to expand. So when you finish a tutorial project, take it further and add on to it by yourself. And finally, combine. So combining different tutorials into one larger project. There are other ways of avoiding tutorial hell, such as learning through other methods, um, like documentation, reading other people's code, or contributing to open source. I hope you found this video helpful. Tutorial hell is one of the most common mistakes that people make while learning web development. I recently made a video that covers a whole bunch of these common mistakes, and I will leave a link to it in the description down below and also right here, right now. If you did find this video helpful, consider dropping a like. It really helps the channel out. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.